So how do you take a simple C major chord and make it sound like this? Well, a few things you need to consider. First of all, can you play the arpeggio? In this case, C major has C, E, G, and I can also play it across the fretboard. Same notes, C, E, G, just playing it across. And now I can start constructing different tools to make it sound like this. And the tools we're going to use are the scale, the arpeggio, diatonic enclosures, chromatic enclosures, and add two. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, you gotta know the C major scale that sits right here with that arpeggio in this position on the fretboard. And this is gonna be this position. So you can play the arpeggio and come back in the scale. Another thing you can do is locate the chord tones and learn how to approach them with diatonic enclosures, such as this. Here's G. It's not within the chord, right? Approach it diatonically. F, A, G. You're surrounding the chord tone with this diatonic enclosure. Then move to the next one, C. Surround it. B, D, C. E, same thing, you can go F, D, E, and you have this. And you can do that on another octave. F to G, B to C, D, F, E, F to G. You see, that's how you start creating music around the arpeggio using the notes of the scale. Another thing you can do is use notes that are outside of the scale, chromatic notes, such as maybe this D flat, and you can create these kind of enclosures. You see, B goes into C. So we had one note that is outside of the key, that D flat, B, D, D flat, B, C, and you can do that to each chord tone as well. Practice these all over the fretboard and soon you will be able to take any arpeggio and make it sound like a phrase. So the next thing is to use different elements such as add to to make your arpeggios richer. If I take C major, it has C, E and G as the one, three, five constructing that chord. C is the root and D is the two, also called the nine depending where you put it in your chord. So this will sound like this. Notice the difference? Here's the arpeggio without the nine. And here it is with the nine. More dreamy and cool, right? So let's put everything into a nice coherent phrase. So now you have the tools to understand the phrase like this. You're playing the scale, just wandering around, and then you see an opportunity to surround a chord tone. You're playing a chord tone and you're seeing an opportunity to stack some thirds, all the way to the nine. You wanna approach back into a chord tone, your root, major 7 to the root, right? And then maybe add some flavor with the add 2, aka 9. Then maybe a chord tone, slide from the major 7 to the root, back to the major 7. And then maybe play the chord tone 5, G. E is the third, and you can maybe end on a tension note, like the sixth. And you can also do that in other places on the guitar. So if you learn it here, if you come up with anything, right, 
like this. Look for it in other places on the guitar, because that's how you expand your horizons. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt stuck or frustrated by all of these arpeggios, scales, triads, and versions, yet alone how to be creative with them and create some cool solos over changes? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, I invite you to check out my Galactic Modern Guitar series, and the link to do so is in the description of this video. Now, if you want to check out a really cool video that I did about how to improvise over chord changes, check out this video right over here, where I talk about how to connect arpeggios. Check it out.